My apologies for this video being so late. I bought Pokemon recently, and I've just been having a ball playing that. I, I'm just going to be honest. I just haven't wanted to put it down. Uh, I've been exploring the wild areas, you know, having a shit ton of fun, raising my teams, building up my uh, my squirrel. Because, you know, Squirrelvet was just too goddamn adorable, and I just wanted to have that on my team forever. Uh, I'm on the 8th gym. I've just been having too much fun. Uh, we're going to change up the, the background screen this time uh, because there's a very good reason. There's something else I want to talk about at the end of the video. Uh, we're going to make this one nice and simple. Now, I know I say that a lot and, and still somehow drag it out to 10 minutes, but it's going to be different this time, I promise. Now, Kieran graces us from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, to be honest. Uh, I I played Crystal Chronicles very little as a kid. I don't know who the fuck this kid is. Uh, <laughs> but he comes to us as a holy magical DPS unit with some very powerful words that have built it to a stacking frame buff mechanic. Uh, the more stacks that you have of this frame buff, the more powerful the the potencies on the auras are that increase attack, max brave, initial brave, and defense. Uh, more so for defense, he raises defense more than the other stats. Uh, with all passes considered as EX plus will double those stats as, um, per stack. When he gets into the, the fifth stack of the stacking frame icon, um, he will actually activate the uh, plus form of all of his abilities uh, that will actually consume the sta uh, stacking frame. Uh, on top of okay damage from his first skill and split and AOE damage from his uh, from his EX, Kieran is a decent DP magic DPS with some very powerful auras that are applied through his stacking frame icon. But does this make him important for the cast era? Absolutely not, because he consumes this stack. Kieran sounds good on paper, but in practice, it's not worth it to put on your teams, in my personal opinion. Mostly because if you want to use him, if you want to use it for more of the damage side, you're going to miss out on the support that he offers. And if you want to use him for the support that he offers, <laughs> Uh, the damage that he just does is laughable at best, honestly. And there are, we have plenty of better characters who can get that job done much better. Um, he it, it is great that he fulfills uh, a such a huge role in the support in the support category, uh, especially since he has some decent brain battery that go uh, that's applied to the second skill. But unfortunately, the damage that you're going to be getting from uh, for your team is just going to be fluctuating, and it's just not going to be great. We have better characters to slap on the team to use over Kieran. And that's just... I, I I definitely thoroughly believe that he's just not important. If you do choose to build him up, though, however, I would recommend at least two out of three. Um, just so you can get access to his new... Uh, the new frame buff that he gets. As well as three... It's a two, two or three stacks of his uh, stacking frame icon. Now, Leo... I'm going to come out right and say it. I think Lael is important. And it's not really... I, I don't know. It's just a gut feeling of mine. Uh, I don't think Lael is actually going to survive all that long in the terms of a spotlight or anything. But I don't know. There's just something about this dude that every time he comes back, he just, he just wows us all. Lael actually did get a rework, which improves pretty much just his damage. Um, and it's a very small one, but it helps out a lot. Uh... His first skill, Field Burst, is actually AOE. Three hits to both targets with single damage HP attack. And just in more, uh, just increased damage and better rate battery on his energy uh, on his energy gain. Bam. That's all he needed. His EX Plus just gives him access to uh, some a new frame buff, which increases the stats accordingly. Um, and more hits of damage. Bam. Pretty much that. Now, <clears throat> with all that said, is... I don't think Leo's bringing back the launch meta by any means, but I definitely, I don't know. I just think he's a character that's, he's just, he's worth it to have because his launching is so powerful, especially since he has some decent auras, he has some decent uh, uh, brave battery. I feel like Leo just can do it. I just, I, I just have that feeling. Now, I know per se that, you know, Leo doesn't necessarily last in the spotlight all that long. And should you be pulling on this banner? Absolutely not. Don't even touch this banner. Um, but if you have not spent those free tokens yet, Leo is free from the EX token shop. And if you are willing to at least toss 
a few tickets for this banner to try for Lale, that's acceptable. If either of these carrots are ca carrots, huh? If either of these characters are a favorite of yours, please by all means continue to dig into this banner. Just know that if you if you are pulling for Kieran, he does have his his downsides that you do need to make sure that you are pretty much just making up for uh, just making up for what he lacks um, especially when you start using the stacking frame icon and Leo is a beast all in all and I honestly think he's wor worth it just not to pull on on the banner at this at this moment in time Kieran does get a rework and an LD in the future while bringing back Leo's EX weapon I think that's a much better time to pull on this banner because Kieran actually becomes a monster because he doesn't lose the stacking frame buff. He can just keep clicking the buttons and just doing the damage and he hits pretty hard and supports the team really well. Then, not now. Definitely pass on this banner unless they are favorites of yours. Don't don't bother. Maybe try a few tickets if you're looking for Lael, but that's just about it. Now to wrap it up for these two. Uh, for Lael, though, I would say before we finish up with Lael, I would definitely say three out of three him. Uh, you just want the additional hits that Gay Ball gets. Uh, it increased to eight, just does a lot more damage, more overflow. That that's that's what you want. That's what you need. That'll pretty much just summarize it up. Uh, Karen is no no no. Leo is yes yes yes, but definitely it's just not worth it to pull on this banner to be honest. Leo is just I I personally I just think he's slapped onto a pretty not good banner. <laughs> And there are definitely better times to uh, pull for him, because I'm sure he returns anytime before, before Kieran actually uh, does come back, and he is free. So go get him there if you haven't used those tokens. Now, before we close out the video, really quickly, the Spring Fest has started, and we have new Abyss content that's Final Fantasy VII themed, and this new banner. Really quickly, before I close out the video, we close out the video. Should you pull on this banner? Only if you are a beginner and you don't have Tifa. Uh, Cloud is just... He's been left... <coughs> excuse me. He's been left very heavily in the dust. Not that he's a bad character. It's just currently in this day and age, and especially with characters coming out, we have better characters to pull for. Aerith honestly doesn't get much use until the Diabolo uh, Ultimate Trials, which should be coming out May time, which is when she gets her EX+. Plus. I really wish... She would have gotten an early EX Plus. I got so hyped, especially when I was logging in. I saw the extra costume. I'm like, did they give my girl the... Uh, did they give her an early EX Plus? Sadly, no. But that costume is fucking beautiful. And I wish I could buy it, but it's $36. Uh, the real prize on this banner is Tifa, because I actually do think that she still is very much worth it in this day and age of Chaos Era, because she still just hits hard. She just does what she's supposed to. She just hits hard. Great launch, good delay fast charging EX. Uh, yeah, uh, Tifa is really the only reason why you'd be pulling on this banner. If you have, obviously, if you have any other characters, that, uh, then don't bother. If you have Tifa, then don't bother. If you are a new character, though, however, this is a good banner for you, especially if, if uh, since it has uh, a free multi applied to it. So, it really depends. Do you have Tifa? No. Uh, then yes, I would say you can pull on this banner. Do you, it, it, it depends, are you a beginner? Then yes, you can pull on this banner. But if you have Tifa and you are a veteran player, don't bother. Uh, it's just nice to have the free multi. I, I very much appreciate that. You know, it's more Power Stones and whatnot. I, I'm very happy that, you know, this banner still came out. But definitely say uh, save your gems if you are a veteran or if you have Tifa. Uh, but if you don't have Tifa and you are a new player, then by all means, dig into this banner. Uh, at least just a bit because Tifa is still worth it in my eyes. And that'll pretty much wrap it up for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Always love the views. Always love the comments and everything that you guys give me. I know it's not too, too much right now. But, you know, what? hey, we can keep striving for more. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.